Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me for this live, not live tonight. I'm so sorry that I couldn't be with you live here. Um, life got in the way. My husband has been dealing with some digestive issues and we were in the ER last night, hence my comfy clothes, <laughs> because I am getting ready to spend the day in the hospital with him. Um, he's having gallbladder surgery and I did not think that I would be able to make it um, home for my live tonight. So I am going to quick make a card for you and give you a little inspiration for your week anyway, uh, but it's just not happening live. I didn't know if I'd be able to hop on. So thanks for joining me tonight. Um, for those of you who are new to my Make It Monday lives, uh, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'm stamping with you tonight, well, I'm making this video today, <laughs> from my Stampin' Studio here in New Holstein, Wisconsin. I know that this video is not live, but I sure would love for you to comment and tell me where you're watching from. I'm still going to be able to check out the comments and it would give me a great distraction from um, my husband's gallbladder surgery. So I would so appreciate that. If you have any questions as I'm stamping along, post them in the comments and I will absolutely go back. I read every single comment and I will answer them for you. If you are catching the replay of this on YouTube, feel free to comment in the YouTube comments as well. And while you're on my YouTube channel, please take a minute to subscribe. I have lots of videos here and then you can keep all your videos by me or from me in one handy place. I think we should get stamping, shouldn't we? Here we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to give you a sneak peek today of the Butterfly Brilliance um, a bundle that's coming out. There is a bundle called Butterfly Bouquet, these beautiful butterfly stamps and dies. And then you can also get some of this pretty designer series paper, but listen. This paper is while supplies last, and so let me talk about this for a minute, if you don't mind. Um, this paper is going to go fast. It's gorgeous. You're going to see all the patterns in a minute. I just want to tell you that, um, remember, we have six more days left of celebration. It goes until the 28th of February, and when you join as a discount shopper during celebration, you get five packs of paper, designer series paper. That's like 200 sheets, I think, total. And you can actually order this suite for your starter kit, for your discount shopper starter kit. So I'm going to, um, up in the description of this video, I have got the um, product numbers so the, and the price so that you can add those as a discount shopper, if you want to get your hands on these now, this paper is only available while supplies last. And so um, you could add it to your list of your wish list of product that totals 125 bucks and you get it for only $99, no um, shipping. So that includes your shipping and um, all you pay is the tax. And then you can enjoy a 20% discount on all of your products while you remain an active discount shopper. Super simple. So anyway, let's get to stamping here. Turn on another light. Okay. So I am going to grab, I'm making a very simple card right now. And uh, I wasn't expecting to make this video, so I'm a little bit discombobulated as I, as I make this. I hope you'll bear with me. Okay, I am going to make a card base here out of our new basic white. I love this stuff. Basic white thick. When I do a white card base, I love to um, use the basic white thick. And I am going to cut and score that. This is going to be just a normal card base, five and a half by eight and a half. I've scored it here at four and a quarter so I can get that nice fold. And here we'll have our card base. 
Okay, now I have been using these beautiful papers. Let's just take a little minute here and look at this. Aren't these gorgeous? Now, the cool thing, the coolest thing about this paper right here, and I've got an, um, a special thank you ordering gift coming up in March that I'll be uh, rolling out next week. This big die fits, right? It lines up with these big butterflies. It is amazing. You can cut out all these butterflies at once. And you get like five sheets. I've already used one, one, two. So you get a whole bunch of sheets of this stuff. And then of course there's beautiful colors on the back. As we all know, our designer series paper, isn't that gorgeous? Is double sided. And I'm actually gonna pull one of these out. <laughs> um, some of those pretty butterflies. Let's see the other side. Ooh. Gorgeous. And I've used a bunch of these for a swap already. So this paper is absolutely beautiful. It um, mixes and matches really, really well. And I think I might take a piece of this one too. Yep. So that's a little sneak peek at those pretty pieces of paper. And we're going to make a really, really simple card with this, but I think it's going to really have a wow factor to it. <clears throat> okay. So in these dies, you actually have these solid dies and you have these detailed thinlets. And I'm going to use this big butterfly right here. For detail and I'm going to use this pretty paper here and cut my butterfly out of this paper so let me get my boss going here now um, you should know that you can also add your stamp and cut and emboss machine or the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine as your um, for your starter kit order, your discount shopper starter kit order. Okay, I'm just lining up my butterfly here on this pretty paper, and I'm going to run this through my big boss. I'm using a retired plate right now, honestly, because it's what I just grabbed, and it happens to be under my desk, and like I said, I'm a little discombobulated today, so bear with me. Wasn't expecting to have to, my poor husband has been in so much pain and um, wasn't sure what was going to happen, but he is um, resting right now and I thought, okay, I've got a few minutes before I have to kind of call anywhere and see what's going on. So I thought I would um, hop on here and just do this quick video. I'm just poking out some of the details here. Sorry about that. That was off screen. Forget about that sometimes. Okay. And next, I'm just going to grab my um, Stitch Shapes Framelits. And I have an idea for this card, but I haven't put it together. So I'm also stamping on the fly as I make this. Yes, I think this big square is going to be the best. And I'm going to cut it out of this pretty Calypso coral paper. So just lining that up like so. And um, let's run this through. like so okay so now I've got my square and my pretty butterfly all right so I am going to now 
me grab my card front here. And just looking for my, oh yeah. For my sentiment today, I'm gonna use my Heal Your Heart stamp set. So for those of you who have purchased this um, for celebration, not purchased, earned it with your products for celebration, this is a great one because it is so many great sentiments on it and then you can pair it with this butterfly. Um, and I think I want to do, I don't know if I want to do sorry for your loss or thank you. Let's see. We also have this fun. Okay, this is what I think we're going to do. I'm going to grab the sentiment that I think most people would put on the inside of their stamp. It says, I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Isn't that beautiful saying? And what I'm going to do is just stamp that. I'm going to do the stamping first in case I mess up. Right, in case we mess up, we don't want... Okay, and let me just practice here because I want to see... Okay, I think that's pretty good. The moment of truth, you guys. Oh, pretty. Actually, that did pretty darn good. All right. And now we are going to grab our butterfly and we're going to put that on there like so. Okay, so I'm going to just glue this stitch square down. Robin, if you're watching, I can still hear those angels singing even though I'm stamping on the fly with my stamp and seal. Okay. And I'm going to... What I'm actually doing, I'm lining this up in the center, but I'm also trying to line it up here. That first line seems to be the same size. <clears throat> and then, let me grab a mini dimensional and stick those on my butterfly abdomen so it can pop up on top of that layer. Like so. Oops, that one didn't peel off. There we go. And stick this right in the center. Center, yeah, there we go. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful already? Oh my goodness. And, um, I've got this white twine from the, um, what's it called? The snail mail twine combo pack. And you know that I love, love, love ribbon twine on my cards. I almost never make a card without it. And one of the things that I have been doing when I make a card and I'm not quite sure the best place to put the twine or ribbon, I have found that running it up the spine of the card and tying it in a bow at the top is just a great way to add a little pop of color or um, a little extra texture, just something fun with our ribbon or our twine. And it works really great. And it adds just the perfect little something. All right, now I'm going to trim that off. There we go. This is a sweet, simple card. Sorry, you can probably hear my dogs in the background. 
And I've got one more thing I'm going to want to do because I kind of want to show off these butterflies. So let me grab, I'm just grabbing a piece of basic white. And I know that we're going to be doing white on white, but um, it'll make it a little bit easier for our inside to go in. So I'm cutting this to five and a quarter by four. So, and I've got this pretty butterfly stamp that comes in this suite um, set up here on my Stamparatus. I'm going to grab my Calypso Coral, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this down the edge of my card, or this layer so that these butterflies are just peeking out. Um, so, inking this up, but I don't have to ink the whole stamp. I only have to ink the outside edge. Let me think about where I want to line this up. This is actually going to be a little bit off the page. No big deal. Let me just line this up here and grab a little magnet for the top. Actually, I didn't line this up very good, so I'm going to leave that magnet off. And we'll just hold on to this since it's kind of going off the edge of our stamparatus. There we go. And we've got those pretty butterfly wings stamped down the side. Just making sure that this dries because I had quite a bit of ink on there. And then if we want to add just a little bit of a of color here. I'm going to cut a little strip, like a half inch, and I'm going to go by five and a half. This is on the fly. I'm coming up with this last minute here. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. And I think it would look kind of cool just to set this, yes, right over the top of those butterflies. So let's do that real quick here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do the blue. As you can see, either side would work really wonderful for so many projects. Okay, so I am lining this up like so. And then I'm going to just glue this to the inside of my card. And then you can write your sentiment right on there. Oh, and I forgot to stamp one more thing. I really hope I don't screw it up because there was one more sentiment I wanted to put in here. So I'm going to grab the We're In This Together from the Heal Your Heart as well. Because our outside says, I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. And I'm just going to take this and then when they open it up, they're going to see we are in this together. And I'm going to stamp this right at the bottom. And then you can write your note above. So there you have it. Our sweet, simple card using the brand new Butterfly Brilliance 
bundle suite here. Um, I'm going to put the link for joining up above in the comments. If you would like to place an order and need supplies, I would so appreciate your business. You can shop my online store here at www.rosegrunewald.com. Please use my um, February host code 7FMR3YMF. If your order is below $150, if it's over, skip the code. Um, when you use that host code, it helps me to do prizes. And I'll double up on the prizes next week since I wasn't able to be live this week. You get prizes for liking, commenting, sharing my uh, video. So if you would take a minute and just hit that share button, I so, so, so appreciate it. Um, again, I'll put the link for joining as a discount shopper so you can get your hands on this pretty suite of products um, before it sells out. And I think that's it. I don't have my notes with me to remember all the wonderful things I have to tell you uh, because it's just been a hectic day. But thank you so much for watching my Live Not Live. I can't wait to be stamping with you live next Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you all have a wonderful week and have a great rest of your evening. See you later. Bye.